All right, so I'm gonna be trying out this new deck that I just built. Just built it on stream a second ago. So it's based on butterflies and math. So the key cards are golden ratio. If your science has 11 or more, if your deck has 11 or more science cards, your life on land cards, wherever they are, get plus it, get plus nine to until played. So a mixture of this with chaos theory. Your beautiful butterflies, wherever they are, gain 10 permanently. So it's 19 until played, 10 permanently on the butterflies. I have these Galapagos tortoises that pair with the butterflies. So if your deck has six or more life on land cards, your science cards, wherever they are, game plus 13 until played. So my science gets buffed, my, my life on land gets buffed, my butterflies get buffed. And with golden ratio, I need to have 11 science cards. With Galapagos tortoises, I need to have six or more life on land cards. So I have 11, six, and then I have one other card left over. So I'm going with uh, Plotinus to buff the Mega Math cards that I have. Why Mega Math? Well, I'm doing this as a math centric. Chaos Theory is a math card. Golden Ratio is a math card. Calculus is just a solid card. And this is an, I believe this is a newer card, but I was lucky to, on the spin of the wheel this morning, uh, pick it up. So this is, um, if you have nine or more Mega Math cards, this card gains plus 52 permanently. So that means each time you play this, this gains plus 52. It already starts off with above average stats. Um, I would say average stats, or like what's like a respectable stat line, would be like 10 times the energy cost is a respectable stat line, roughly. It, not a, it doesn't have to be exactly times 10, but roughly times 10 is a respectable stat line. This is about time, just shy of times 13, between 12 and 13. So it's already a really good stat line, and it gets buffed super hard with just this minimum constraint of Mega Math. I already wanted to have... Um, I already wanted to have Calculus Golden Ratio, uh, Year of 2038, and Chaos Theory. Uh, Euclid's a solid card. Um, I could replace Pi. I have Zip's Law, Pythagoras. I have playing cards just to get through my deck quickly. Um, let's see, is there any math cards I'd prefer like, over Pi? Actually, let me just double check that. Because I, I don't remember intentionally adding Pi, but I might have just been a the filler one. And I chose Pi because it was a cheaper one. Um, could you go with Bertrand Russell? If it's the first round, a random card in your hand loses 20 and gains plus 40 this round. So it's only impacts the first round and it... And yeah. So actually, um, actually, what's the deck stats like? Average energy of 3.4. Can up that a little bit. Oh, you know, I don't have any energy generation, right? That's what I don't have, because I have the Galapagos Tortoise, and then I put in um, Plotinus and Wright Brothers. I can get rid of the Wright Brothers and not put the science cards in my hands to throw in. I wish I had Thunderstorms, but um, going with uh, Nuclear Power. Sorry, not in this collection. Uh, I need this, because if I go against the Drain Deck, in this league, I just die. Um, you'll run out of resources because you don't really. This uh, this week's league, you start with a whole bunch of. Um, just, okay. Let's go into the rules for the league. You start with a whole lot of energy, um, but your energy per turn is pretty low. And I'm not really playing to any of the featured arenas, um, but. Should there be a butterfly or math feature arena in the future, this deck should slap. All right. Um, I did one practice run with um, not this exact deck, but a similar deck. And it worked like a charm. That one had the Wright Brothers in it, um, which buffed it a little more. It was also a slightly different buildup. I didn't have Plotinus in it at all. Didn't have Bertrand Russell. It was um, looser on the math and had more uh, just science and butterflies with uh, chaos theory and uh, golden ratio. Um, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, they're probably playing um, hard hitting cards or uh, ramping cards. So, yeah, I was expecting to lose because this this deck needs a little bit to get up and going, but once it gets started, it kind of just rolls them over. So. Golden Ratio. I don't know if this will quite beat it, but if it, no, it doesn't. Oh, he's going big dogs. Shoot. Okay, so I'm gonna definitely lose the dog round too. So if I lose this round, I need to win every round that's not the dog round. I need to win the next two and then the last one. Okay, that's kind of rough. Because I'm not really getting too much time to get up and started. Oh, uh, let's just cycle past. I'm just trying to get my cards buffed up. I haven't even seen the tortoise yet. And Chaos Theory is in the back half. Or not quite the back half, but close to it. Let's go with Pythagoras. Uh, we're going to go Pythagoras and um, this butterfly. So right now we're trying to build up some big butterflies on the side. Um, what is this until the end of next turn? Okay, there's the turtle. I want to play this right away. I have to win this round, so let me just... Um, play some big ones. All right, but I think you can start to see how this deck ramps up pretty hard. And then I get from Calculus and from that, I think it was called Ghost Moth, I get the energy generation and then I can reduce cards first one on round i can increase and just get more and more turn that's not even from the cards and then i have a little bit of energy a little bit of energy um, and let's just play this now ideally i would want to play that into me playing three cards but i just wanted to Make sure I could spend energy and be matching up with them. So that paid off to win that round, and then I would just need to win this round if I draw into Flavinus. Oh yeah, that should be coming up soon. Dang. Why did that get locked? That sucks. Let's bet on winning. Dang. Say I'm going to lose, 
probably not sure. I'll just get out all of these cards, and then I'll have really, really cheap cards next to me. Shoot, these are already cheap cards. I think I'll just go Pythagoras playing cards calculus. Cycle, cycle, cycle. ahead. I'm up on points. Just barely, but geez, that's such a rough, such a rough thing to go against. Okay. I don't really need much energy. have the funds and it'll increase my funds in the future. This deck doesn't quite make full use of having a huge amount of energy in the early game, but life on land. Okay, just barely. Thank the lord for the butterflies. And then he's running low on energy now. So I should be able to crush him, I think. Yeah. Chaos. Butterfly. I'll bet on being ahead in 2.30. Jeez. This is when I play it, not when not on return, so I can play it right after and it's fine. I'll be in the next round. Jeez, all locked up. Oh, this actually works really well though with Pythagoras. Easy clap. And not even calculus. I would do calculus if the game is going on longer. This is gonna be one, two, three. Just the most points that I could go around. Actually, that was a pretty tough game. The dogs were really good. But yeah, you can get an idea of how that works. Good experiment. <laughs>